Photos of an odd light formation in Frisco are really making the rounds, and with all the recent talk of the northern lights being visible in our state, the locals are wondering what's been going on. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson talked with the woman who captured the lights in the sky this past weekend. You've learned it's likely what is known as light pillars, Spencer? That's right, Jim, and our meteorologist told us that it's kind of an interesting phenomenon that only happens when it's cold enough that the ice crystals can stay in the air, but also there has to be a light source to actually bounce off those light crystals and create the pillar. Now, the woman we spoke with who captured it says she saw them right here last weekend just before midnight. Because I've never seen anything like that, and I know they're northern lights, they don't look like that. So I, I was just not sure what I was looking at. It's like, is this the time where we get aliens here? <laughs> Are we getting abducted? Not quite, as far as we can tell. Far more likely, it was some late night light pillars. A sun pillar or a light pillar usually appears when a shaft of light extends vertically above the sun. So you most often see these at sunrise or sundown, and they develop because ice crystals are slowly falling through the air, reflecting the sun's rays off of them. But what makes these lights so special is when they're formed. No sunshine, barely any moonshine, just mountain magic. Maybe the city lights to power them. It looked like spotlights in the beginning. I was like, wait, but there's a few of them. They're kind of moving. Speaking of late night viewing, we have five planets aligning tonight. And the forecast looks good for Coloradans to catch it. So tonight, the sky should be pretty clear, so you should be able to see that. And they say you can see it with the naked eye. Telescope uh, would be even better. But whether it's celestial movement or just light refracting through ice crystals, Denise is now on the hunt to catch that magic moment again. And I'm a night owl, so I always stayed up late. So every time I'm just coming home from the gym or whatever, I'm like, oh, okay, let's see if I can find something else, you know. If you have to catch any photos like she did and want to send them to us and potentially be in a story just like this one, go ahead and send that to cbsnewscolorado.com. We'll try and take your picture, maybe make something out of it. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer, fascinating. You know, Spencer covers our high country like nobody else. He lives right there in Summit County. Would love to hear from you and get good story ideas about what's going on. You can reach him through cbscolorado.com or call and leave him your story idea on the tip line you see right there. Uh, 